welcome to TI-84 Tips. Today we're going to talk about normal CDF. Alright, here's how you get to normal CDF. Hit the second key and above the VARS key is distributions. The second one in the list is normal CDF. You can either scroll down to it or simply hit the number two. Now, <clears throat> I have the wizards turned off because I want this to be applicable also to people that have TI-83. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the area under a curve using z-scores. Okay, um, I want to figure out the probability of a z-score being less than negative 1. The probability of it being less than negative 1. So here's how we do that. First I start with a lower bound. So because I want to test the probability being less than negative 1, I'm going to choose an absolutely ridiculously large negative number like negative 9,999, comma. The next one is the upper bound, so this is the z-score that I want. So this is the region it's going to test for the area, comma. The next value should be the mean. Well, when everything is standardized, the mean is always zero because everything is now unitless with standard scores, comma. The standard deviation is always 1 when everything is standardized. And parentheses, and what I'm looking at here, this is the probability that my value would be less than a z-score of negative 1. So that's about 15.87%. Okay, now let's go ahead and run a normal CDF with values that are not standardized. So let's say, for example, that I spend on average $200 for Christmas with a standard deviation of $60. What's the probability I spend more than $300? Let's consider that as an option. Okay, here's how you do it. Second, distribution. Again, choose number two in the list. Now, my lower bound is I want to test the probability of greater than 300 so my lower bound in this case is the number 300, comma. Now I choose a ridiculously large number, like 9,999. The mean that I spend, the average I spend on Christmas would be $200, with a standard deviation of $60. Close the parentheses, let's hit enter. So the probability that I spend more than $300 on Christmas, if my mean is $200, with a standard deviation of $60 is about 4.78%. And that's how you do normal CDF, both with standardized scores and without standardized scores. God bless you, wherever you are today. Here we go.